Hey guys, it's Misty from the Joy Fed Elf. Welcome back to day two of my Wrapped in Warmth um, card series. Sorry for not posting this on Wednesday, but I have been struggling with my allergies all week long, and um, they kind of hit me really, really hard. I've Yesterday I had a migraine all day, excuse me, and I just, I couldn't even function. My head hurt so bad. And I woke up today and I don't, I still don't feel well. It's almost 1.30 in the afternoon, but I want to get these videos filmed for you guys. So if I sound a little off or I'm not quite as chipper as normal, you know why. Um, I didn't have any issues with my allergies while I was in New England, but the minute we landed <laughs> and I walked outside, it hit me almost immediately. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, but if I sound different or if I sound like I'm not as joyful or jolly as normal, you know why. But today we're going to use this Wrapped and Warp to make a really cute but really simple card. And I'm going to be showcasing some designer series paper that's on sale for the month of October. So I'm going to use this Merry Christmas from our home to yours. And I'm going to be using one of my mess up cards from um, Tuesday's video. If you saw that, um, I mean 10 cards and I was only able to really salvage five of them. So I'm not gonna let this paper go. I'm gonna be using this paper from the Candy Cane Lane DSP and I'm gonna be using this one as a backdrop. But I don't know the sizes yet until we cut this out. But what I wanna do is I want a big house with the two little ones in between. Or if we could do, this is five and a half. I don't know if we can do a whole row. Actually, let's see. Actually, we could do this right here. So let me cut this off. Bring in my paper trimmer. Someone made a comment either on my blog or on YouTube that I have a really good paper trimmer. <laughs> I do. This is the Fiskars. It's a titanium blade. I really suggest it. The one from Stampin' Up! is good as well. Um, I like this one because it has the wire guide. And it's really going to be special or easy for us to do it um, when we cut these. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to cut just under these houses. And again, this is where the wire guide comes in handy. I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to flip this. And I'm going to cut off again, I'm going to use the wire guide. I've got a messy desk. I got to get I'm gonna cut right there. I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna flip it. And I want this at five and a half. Wait, what am I doing? This way at five and a half. Yeah, that's just about perfect. And then I'm gonna flip it this way. So this is actually, looks like two and an eighth. Okay, so it's five and a half by two and an eighth. So I'm gonna cut a piece at two and two and three eighths. So that's just a little bit over two and a quarter. So two and three eighths by five and a half. We are done with our trimmer. I'm gonna take some snail and I'm gonna add that house piece to our Wait, I did that. No, I didn't write. <laughs> I was like, wait, I did that wrong. Nope, I did it right. 
So we got a little bit of a border on both sides. Just like that. So I'm going to place this. It's going to be a little long, actually. That's all right. This actually may not work. Yeah, no, this isn't going to work because our sentiment is too tall. So let me grab a brand new sheet of paper, which is fine. It's no problem. So I am going to cut this at five and a half. I may have to use a different sentiment. We'll see. This is what happens when you don't plan. Things happen on the fly. You guys have allergy problems? Oh, I never had allergies until I moved to Texas. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Becky. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the Merry Christmas on the outside and from our home to yours on the inside. So I probably could use that piece of paper. We're already in over our head. <laughs> I'm already in this. We'll just do this. Okay, so I'm gonna do the Merry Christmas for the outside and the red. And I'm gonna use a piece of washi tape because it's what I've got right here. You could also do the our house to yours on the outside, but I don't think I want that on the inside. Oh my word, I can't get this off. <laughs> Come on. There it goes. I'm just gonna tape off right there. Actually, do this with a marker, which actually might be smarter. Misty. So I'm going to use the brush tip of my real red marker. Just about perfect, not quite, just about. So I'm gonna bring in this marker again, clean it up a little bit. It is a little distressed, this whole stamp set is. So I'm not looking to make anything solid, just added that A, curvature of A. Okay, so I'm gonna let me clean this stamp off because we're gonna need it for the inside. I'm gonna throw this piece of tape away because it's got red ink all over it. And I do not need red ink everywhere. We already know that's trouble. <laughs> this will be the first time you think I've done an inside of a card. 
in a while. And I think we'll do the inside with crumb cake. Incidentally, if you want, you can purchase a crumb cake marker with the Real Red marker in our holiday catalog as a bundle. So if you don't have those colors, there's actually that bundle, and then I believe it's Cherry Cobbler and Garden Green, and then Pumpkin Pie and Basic Gray or Basic Black. So if you're in need of some markers, that's a good way to get them. Don't forget, if you purchase the buy three get one free using the hostess code that is over on my blog you will get a free tutorial um a one sheet wonder tutorial from me you have to use that hostess code so make sure you take care of that so i'm just taping over this side Again, I'm going to use my brush tip. I actually think I didn't put my tape far down. Far enough. Oh no, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! Okay, again, I'm going to huff on it. And just put this straight down. And I'm just going to use my small tip and a ruler to kind of connect, connect these lines. Make sure they're straight. What the what? like that. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Okie dokie. We're just about done. We're going to bring in, or I'm going to bring in some dimensional pieces to pop our little panel up. I've been considering getting that big mama foam tape that everybody uses for long pieces like this. I mean, I don't mind using dimensionals, of course, but um, if you want like just a little bit of dimension, I think these are a bit thicker. I don't know, I'm just talking out loud. Don't mind me, I'm just talking out loud. So I met my friend Rob while we were on vacation and he <laughs> accused me of being a little bit of a perfectionist and I never thought that I really was, but maybe I am. I just don't like it to be crooked because then I get comments about that was really crooked. I'm like, yeah, I know. There, that's not bad. That's actually pretty cute. Got a little bit of overhang. I'm going to trim off. And I actually think I'm going to cut out one of these houses. Nope. Do I have a whole house? Oh, wait. Mm, I do kind of have a whole house. I'm going to cut off the side there. What, 
is he putting something on the inside of a card? Who is she? What have you done with Miss Diva the elf? Don't be alarmed, folks. <laughs> I really suck at fussy cutting. I've never been good at cutting, actually. Today, I'm having a hard time seeing the lines. There we go. Merry Christmas from all home to yours. Cute, cute, cute. All right, guys. This is actually pretty simple and easy. Let's add some Winka Stella, and then we'll be done. I'm gonna add it just to the snowy parts, or the frosting, whatever you wanna call it. Is this the empty one? Yes, this is the empty one. There we go. It's like, I know, I have a new one. There we go. I'm just going to add this to frosting on top of the houses. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the shimmer, but it's there. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Again, I'm sorry this didn't go up yesterday, but at least it's going up today. <laughs> as always, links will be in the description box down below, as well as over on my blog with the coordinating blog post. Um, I hope you'll take advantage of this buy three, get one, four, um, get one free promotion. And again, if you use the hostess code, then you will get an exclusive one sheet wonder tutorial. So I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>